Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, today we're talking about foundation and more specifically how to match your foundation to your skin. Uh, I've learned through trial and error and I thought I'd share some of the tricks that I've learned along the way from research and from just speaking to a lot of um, over-the-counter beauty assistants at um, retail stores and just doing my own desktop research. So uh, here we go. Thing that you need to know about your foundation is that there's a difference between your skin tone and your undertone. So what is your skin's undertone? Skin undertone is the permanent underlying color that your skin tone casts and there are three general types uh, which is cool, warm, and neutral. And some people also add a fourth one, which would be olive tone. And these are the um, categories that you need to look out for when looking for a foundation match. If you have warm undertones, then your skin has golden, peach, yellow undertones. And that's what you need to look out for in your foundation. And when you're cool, when you're cool toned, then your skin has underlying hints of pinks and blues. And neutral, you have a little bit of both. So you you aren't warm toned completely, and you aren't cool toned. You're smack in the middle, and actually that's a great undertone to have because you can get away with a lot more choice in terms of the kind of foundation that you want to wear. Now, okay, let's get on to the next point. How do we figure out what our undertones are? There's a couple of tests you can do to figure this out and um, it requires you to look at yourself in the mirror or in front of a, um, a window where there's natural light and do a couple of tests just to figure out if you have underlying blues and pinks or underlying peach, yellow or golden tones. The first test is called the white paper test. So you stand in front of a, a window where there's natural light and then you get a piece of paper grab a white piece of paper and you want to put it up against your chest and then just start looking at what kind of colors are picked up what kind of colors you can pick up on um, when doing this test on yourself and see if you can pick up um, any underlying pinks or blues or any yellow tones or green tones so that's the first test the white paper test if you still struggle with um, figuring out what colors or you can't pick up on the tones with the white paper test, the next test you can use is using the jewelry test. And that's basically um, trying to figure out if you look best in gold or silver jewelry. People who look great with silver jewelry are generally the cool toned people, people with cool undertones with the pinks and the blues. And then um, those who have golden undertones usually look really great with um, gold jewelry. So just put some jewelry up against yourself and try to figure out which one works which one works best for you and your skin tone and that could help you narrow down what your undertone is the third and final test to see what your undertone is is looking up at your veins pick up your wrist like that and then just look at your veins and see what color veins guys please excuse my nail <laughs> um you figure out what color are your veins if you look closely at mine you see that they have a green, there's tinges of green. There we go. Tinges of green there. And so I'm more likely to be uh, warm toned. And, but so just have a look at your veins and see if you have blue veins or green veins. If you have green veins, then you're most likely warm toned. And if you have blue, then you are likely a cool undertoned person. Now that we've done the test, if you have narrowed down your color, great. 
if you're still struggling you might be neutral and um, you might have a neutral undertone and might be a mixture of both so don't sweat it uh, you know re really just do all the tests and if you struggle with any of them or nothing is conclusive then you're probably a neutral um, undertone person once you've established what your undertone is it makes it so much easier for you to figure out what foundation to look out for because a lot of foundations actually have numbers and a letter in their foundations i'm going to grab one of my foundations just to show you and give you an example of what you what to look out for when you're buying foundation i have generally um categorize myself as warm tone but there are times where neutral um foundations work for me as well so i could be neutral i don't know but i have found that when i try go for the cooler tone foundations or when someone's recommended the cooler tone foundation for me it looks too red on my face and it doesn't work so i'm obviously on some kind of spectrum between um neutral and warm so that's where i like playing around so you find you see my i've got my estee loader So here I've got the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation and I wear the 6W1. I'm trying to get that into focus. Hold on. There you go. 6W1 uh, Sandalwood. And that is a warm toned um, foundation. So that so you see when you're looking out for foundations, you can start looking at the numbers and looking at the letters and trying to figure out, okay, should I go for a cool tone or should I go for neutral? If I show you my Dior Backstage face and body, it is a 5N. Sorry guys, it's an old foundation. But anyway, it's the Dior 5N. Get back into focus. It's the Dio 5N and that is a neutral um, a neutral tone foundation. So you see, once you start understanding your undertones, then it's easy for you to narrow down your selection and then start testing out. When you do start testing out, please make sure that you test out on your face and you wanna go from down your cheek all the way down your neck and try maybe two to three sample foundation matches because you understand your undertone then you live within the area of like if you're cool tone then you you choose maybe two or three cool tone um colors that look like that look like they resemble your skin tone test those out and then it makes it easy for you if you are more of a neutral or warm tone then you do the same on that side just test out on your face and find out what your skin tone is Sorry, what your foundation match is and yeah then you'll have seamless flawless makeup so I hope this helped uh, I hope I wasn't rambling too much and yes I hope I see flawless beautiful skin finished foundation thank you guys